Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So I wanna share with you a very budget-friendly organizing tip to make your own drawer dividers. Now I'm sure by now you guys have seen the spring-loaded drawer dividers from the Container Store. They are so expensive. They're like $17 for a pack of two. And then if you wanna further divide up the drawer and get the little ones, those are like $8 for a pack of two. So it's way over budget for me and I wanted to find a cheaper version. So I just went to Walmart and paid just a couple of bucks for this foam board. You can find it at any store like CVS or Rite Aid for very inexpensive. I also have a box cutter as well as measuring tape and then I have a right angle ruler as well as a straight ruler, although both of them aren't necessary. And then I have contact paper from the container store which is optional. Now I'm going to be dividing up a drawer in my son's room, which you'll notice is already lined with the same contact paper, and I did that so it would match. So I just measured the drawer, and I think it's easier to use like this bendy measuring tape. I measured the depth, width, and height, and then I just went ahead and transferred those measurements onto the foam board. Now it's really important that you want this to fit very, very tight, very taut, so make sure to measure very carefully. And I really should be cutting this on a surface that isn't carpet, but whatever, I live on the edge. So there I am cutting it, and I just use the right angle ruler for the straight edges just to make sure that it's not crooked or anything like that. And then I use the other straight ruler when using the box cutter, and I just butt the box cutter right up against it so I get a really nice and even cut. Now if you wanted to, you could stop right there and call it a day, stick it right in the center of your drawer. This is perfect for socks or underwear or any type of undergarment, but I wanted to create a slightly sturdier interlocking system, so I actually cut quite a few pieces, three of them to be exact, and created an interlocking grid system. So that way each of the pieces would kind of support each other and I could be sure it wasn't gonna get knocked over, although like I said, the one really does work pretty well. Now cutting those notches is really easy. I just marked off with a pencil exactly where I wanted them to be cut and then I just used a pair of sharp scissors to sort of you know, dig into the foam board. It doesn't have to be perfect in a straight edge, at least I didn't think it needed to be. I thought scissors were easier than the box cutter here. Now I decided to get fancy, well a little fancy, and cover this with contact paper from the dollar store. I used about 25 cents worth to be honest. I just smoothed out the air bubbles and then made sure the part that was showing didn't have any rough edges on it. It was super easy to do. And then I just took my scissors and cut where the notches were and then kind of folded the edges over with my fingers and then stuck another little piece over top of it just so it would have a nice smooth and flush edge and make it really easy to continue with the interlocking system. And there you have it, beautiful and organized drawers and fast motion footage of me putting Carson's bathing suit stuff and some of his pants in here. I love how this worked, it's so easy to access and this entire thing was less than $3. So I hope that you guys like this video. I'm gonna put a link in the description to my brand new blog, which I just started that has some free printables and stuff that I wanna share with you guys. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.